Welcome to another episode of the Complete Performance Exercise Breakdown, where we take different exercises, break down the different techniques, help give you some coaching cues so that you move more effectively and efficiently, and so that you stay pain-free. Well, we're all stuck at home. This is a great time to take a look at some of those most common movements and be sure that we're checking all our boxes and that form and technique look great. So today we're gonna to break down squats. Squats are one of those exercises where we want to add more weight, add more resistance, do what we can to make them tougher. But if you don't have the proper movement pattern, adding more weight, adding more resistance just puts you at a greater risk for injury and doesn't bring you any closer to results. So I wanna break down squats today. We're gonna to start with the very basic chair squat. The chair squat is something that's used at all age levels, kids all the way up to senior citizens for building that movement pattern because it's important for getting up and down off a chair, up and down off the couch, out of bed, off the toilet. Whatever those movements are, we need to know how to squat properly. But the chair squat is even done wrong. So let's break it down. We're gonna use this chair. I'm gonna angle it so you can see me from the front and from the side. First thing we wanna check with squats is our stance. Make sure that it's about shoulder width apart. You don't wanna to be too narrow because that's not gonna let your glutes fire the way that we want to. And we don't wanna to get too wide because that's gonna strain those hips and use some of those muscles that aren't as strong for squatting. So go about shoulder width apart. I turn my toes out just slightly. Angle them out so that they're at least not turned in, but at, at minimum, point and straightforward. Now, from here, we start the movement pattern. At the top, what we want to make sure is we want to make sure shoulders are pulled back, chest is up, squeeze with the glutes, hips are nice and locked out to start. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower the hips straight down. Now, when you sit down on a chair, a lot of times we like to sit the butt back. Kicking that butt back puts a lot of stress on the low back and makes it more of a hamstring exercise. The hamstrings are targeted in a squat already, so we don't need to add any more work to that. So we really wanna emphasize that sit straight down into that chair. Now, when I get to the bottom, notice my chest is still up. My knees aren't directly over my ankles, but they're not way out over my toes. If you sit down into a chair and you notice that your feet are too close and that your knees are out over your toes, then adjust your feet. Kick your feet forward just a little bit so that you can be sure you're in that right position. From here, what I wanna to do to drive up off the bottom, I wanna still make sure that that core is tight, so belly button's pulled in, rib cage pulled in, shoulder blades pulled back. I want to grab the floor with my toes and my heels, pull up through the middle of that foot, and stand straight back up. Sit back down and drive up. You wanna think that your hips are pushing up and forward so that we don't want to push forward onto our toes and we don't want to stand up backwards so that we fall back into our heels. That's why grabbing the floor with your toes, pushing through those heels, creates that little suction so that middle of the foot starts to come up off of the floor. Grab those toes to the floor, and drive straight back up. Use the chair as a resource. Use it as a guide to check to see where that body position lands. But when you go into a body weight squat, don't change too much. You still wanna think that you're pushing those hips straight down and that that chest is still gonna come forward just a little bit. When you drive through the floor, you're pressing through the heel, through those toes, and driving those hips forward and back. Some of the most common mistakes that I see with squats starts with the knees. With the knees, if you come down and your knees buckle in, down either on the way down or on the way back up, that's a sign that we have some weak glutes. Your knees should be able to, your hips should be able to open up, your knees should be able to open up, and those knees should stay out over middle of the foot the whole time. So really push those knees apart as you sit down and as you drive back up. Second thing I see is that chest leaning forward. That really strains that low back, really puts a lot of stress on the knees. Two joints that already take a beating that we don't need to add any more stress to. Keep the chest up, 
keep the weight in the middle of that foot and drive straight up. Last thing that I see is we kind of talked about it at the beginning of how we typically sit down into a chair is we push the hips back and really sit down into it, which by nature drops that chest. My chest and my head are still up though, but my hips kicked way back. We really want to focus on pushing the hips straight down and straight back up. Try different variations of squats while you're at home. Master that technique so when you're able to hit the gym again, when you're able to add more resistance, your technique is perfected. Your technique is solid so that you can continue to add and build the resistance and get better results.